Once upon a time, there was a band which was all busy warming up. First, the solo clarinet gave his F to the other clarinets. Then to the rest of the woodwinds. Helter Skelter. All but Tubby the Tuba. A fat little tuba puffing away, but oh so slow. Lovely music, thought Tubby, and sighed. Here, what's the matter, said Peepo the Piccolo. Oh, said Tubby, every time we do a new piece, you all get such pretty melodies to play, and I never, never get a pretty melody. But people never write melodies for tubas. It's just not done. Oh, there's the conductor. Shh. First, the clarinets dance the lovely little tune. Then they cried to the flutes, catch. Got it, cried the flutes. My turn, tooted the cornet. And the rest joined in. The euphoniums. While Tubby went um pa, um pa. Catch me, cried the little tune. Catch me. Got you, cried Tubby. Oh, you're sitting on me, cried the little tune. Poor Tubby picked up the little flat little tune and tried to squeeze it back into shape. You clumsy fool, snapped the brasses. I'm sorry, Mr. Trumpet, said Tubby. Well, I should think so, said the woodwinds, as they quivered with great indignation. Tubby, said the conductor. Tubby, just what's the matter? Please, sir, I thought it would be so nice to dance with the pretty little tune instead of going oom-pa, um oom-pa um all the time. Dance, laughed the woodwinds. Dance? Well, really. The horn quietly put his hand to his mouth and smiled and the whole band began to laugh. Tubby, please, sir, I wasn't laughing. Rehearsal was over. Tubby was walking home with Peepo the Piccolo. Please, Peepo, said Tubby.
tubby. I just feel so bad. I don't think I want any company. I understand, said Peepo. Good night. Good night, said Tubby. The moon was out. Tubby went out to the river and sat down on a log, and he looked at himself in the water. a big bullfrog hopped out of the water and sat down on a log beside him. Ahem. Bog up, bog up, lovely evening. Bog up, bog up, I said lovely evening. Clunk, 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 clunk. I said beautiful evening. Hello, bog up, hello, bog up. Hello. But Tubby just sat. Oh well, said the frog. Oh well, if I'm not wanted. Oh, cried Tubby. Please, Mr. Frog, come back. I didn't mean to be impolite. Back hopped the frog. Oh, that's all right. I'm used to it. No one pays any attention to me, either. Really, said Tubby. Why, of course. Every night I sit here and sing my heart out. But does anyone listen to me? No. Can you sing, asked Tubby. Can I sing? Listen. Lovely, said Tubby. You try it, said the frog. Oh, thank you, said Tubby. Say, you're a very fine tuba. Do you know it? Tubby, you should try that on your band sometime. Oh, I will, said Tubby. Goodbye, Mr. Frog. And off went Tubby, as happy as happy could be. Hmm, said the frog. Most appreciative audience I've ever had. Fine musician, that tuba. Bog up, bog up, lovely evening, bog up. Bog up, I said, lovely evening, clunk, 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 clunk. I said, beautiful evening, hello, bog up, hello, bog up. Good night. The next day, the band was busy warming up for the rehearsal and buzzing with excitement over the arrival of the great new conductor, Signor Fortissimo. Tubby practiced his umpa and smiled to himself. Peepo the piccolo caught his eye. Feeling better? 
Uh huh, winked Tubby. <laughs> Here he comes, called the horns. Here comes Senor Fortissimo. All right, begin. And Tubby began to play his own little melody. Oh, that wretched tuba snapped the brasses. He'll disgrace us. The trombone stuck out his tongue. And the trumpet snickered. Tubby, said Signor Fortissimo. Tubby, I've never heard a tuba play a melody before. Let's hear the rest of it. Oh, said Tubby. Why, how perfectly wonderful, said the clarinets. Please, Tubby, may we sing your tune, too? And me, said the trombone. May I, asked the celeste. Here I come, called Peepo. haven't we, Tubby? It was the bullfrog sitting right down beside him. We have our points too, don't we? Oh, thought Tubby, how happy I am. 